enjoy the film. You want butter on your popcorn? The theater will be ready in a second. I, I guess we should start by introducing the fact that we have a fourth today. I'm happy to finally meet all of you hey man it's nice to meet you we're having a normal uh interaction here yeah how do you yeah. deal with all the fiberglass because i'm noticing my eyes are itching really really badly oh yeah i i'm uh, just you know you, when you're itchy for so long mm -hmm. it just becomes a way of life yeah really. it just because I, I lean into it i start I'm, rubbing it in my eyes yeah i've gotten to that i think i might actually be uh immune to uh asbestos there wow. you go wow That's yeah it's it's cool. kind of like it's kind of like uh with with um with uh vaccinations or something you take a little bit of the poison and yeah you it, but on a on a bigger scale you just take a lot of the poison overwhelm your body completely so that there's only poison inside that's right did you yes. know so almonds it's like it's like almonds we almonds are full of uh cyanide and originally humans could not even digest almonds it would make us very sick but we've evolved to so the point can where... Can you overdose on almonds? I mean... An almond overdose? If you get the wrong that kind... Nutty. If you get the wrong <laughs> kind of almond, uh, you could get... You could die from cyanide poisoning. You could poisoning. get cyanide almond? poisoning. But I think I've eaten enough fiberglass insulation... Oh, you're eating it. That you could... I, I, Tuesdays and Thursdays are my fiberglass nights. I mean, it's good to have a day off a day on, you know. It's like working out. Well, at least you're getting enough fiber, right? I mean, otherwise it's just... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Should, uh, let's uh, yeah, let's st take a step back, uh, sir. Would you like to give context for why you are here and where you came from? Oh, well, well yeah. my name is uh, my name is James. I worked here uh, about five years ago. I worked in the in the in the Cineplex yeah. for mm -hmm. uh, about a month, yeah. and then I found a ladder up into the ceiling in um, in theater. B or uh, you know the one. The, oh, yeah, 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 I think they. they, I think they, they we now we, now they're numbered. It's right, the, the, they the just erased three. the side. Yeah. Theater three now. Yeah. Oh, we added, we added one more like and then B we numbered them. Three. That makes sense. That's e that's easy. That saves some money. Yeah, yeah. It didn't save much space though. That's we're, why we're I did it. Cramped. I wanted You'd to be save... amazed at how much money gets saved around here. Oh boy, thank you, Steve. You worked with Steve, didn't you? Oh yeah, he, he's, he's a manager now. He is. Yeah. Oh yeah, I've been avoiding Steve for five years that's yeah just, sounds about right smart yeah he, that's a good idea. Uh, he doesn't he didn't know i was a, just a no call no show but i actually found a way into the ceiling uh -huh. and um and you've just I've gotta say the rent-free life is really making a big difference for me that sounds wonderful. and my family your uh, family you have a family oh up yeah there. they're they're up there oh my yeah did you have a family before, or is this... Oh, no. This is all pretty new this for me. Wow. Congratulations. Family. Wow. Um, Thank you. How many of you are there? There's me and my wife, and we've got four kids. Wow. Now, did and, she uh, bring the kids along? Because depending yeah, on how new this was. They're all hers. Okay. Oh, wow. But I mean... Uh, they're all hers. They're, you know, they're great little was, now, things. If I may, this may sound like a stupid question, and if it does... Too bad. Um, are they human? Well, that mm. oh, is... Okay. Uh, okay, here. Oh, let me... How did you meet your wife? She, uh, well, she met... She came to me, you know, one day. I was. Just, it was a Thursday, so I was getting deep into my uh, fiberglass, fiberglass dinner. Sure. And um, it was raining. And, you know, it's, it's pretty leaky up there. Mm -hmm. And yeah, I mean, uh, yeah, there's holes. There. This the number of holes. figure approached me, and um, she kind of, you know, like like you say when you meet someone the first time, she kind of said, "Damn, fans, and." That's a very and, um, yeah, that's very cordial. My and goodness, I was very just polite. love at first sight, you know. Wow. And we really have a great connection. How long had it been since you'd seen a, a person? Oh, at least up a close. A couple years. I I mean I can watch. I've got a hole sure. where uh, I can see the screen. So oh, I nice. watch, sure. you know, I I get to watch the movies. I'll come down yeah. after hours and and get the gum underneath the seats and stuff. That's mm. a good way to get wow. some. Wow. Oh my gosh. Extra. That is so funny. There. I got yelled at for that. <laughs> for taking the gum no. Off grid being all there. Oh, well, I had no idea how to get it off. I, I think I'm. I should thank you for that because the gum has really 
added to my meal so planning. Is that on Whoa, Mondays, Wednesdays, go. Fridays? Oh yeah. So you've been so you've been living. If I'm remembering this correctly, you've been living on a diet strictly consisting of Monday gum, Tuesday fiberglass, Wednesday gum, Thursday fiberglass. Friday gum. Yeah, what do you do? What do you do on Saturday, Sunday? Oh, those are my fun days. I get to go. Um, I climb out, out onto the roof and I catch seagulls. That does wow. sound wow. very fun. Do you and catch if, one every time? No, I mean I've gotten lucky. Some if I get if I could get a couple in one weekend, then I'll that's save good, it. That's a good haul. I'll right save there. a goal for the next weekend. And oh golly, you know I'll just uh, I'll golly. string them up uh, in the rafters there. You get some sunlight and, you know, you pluck the feathers off. And you got to get those feathers off there. Once you leave it out for long enough, it gets real nice real and ripe. dry. And uh, nice. it just peels apart in your fingers. No. So you don't cook it. The sun, <laughs> the sun cooks it. Well, it's yeah, like a sun dries. The sun dries it's a, it yeah. out. That's, Have you, you know, ever eaten a sun-dried tomato? It's the exact same. I it's act- the exact same. You ever eaten a raisin? No. I've, You've never eaten a raisin? No. It's all basically. It's kind of like, like a, a dr- sun-dried <laughs> seagull, but with a grape. Oh, I've oh, they're grapes. Even heard of? Uh, yes. What'd you think? What'd you think? I thought before. raisins and grapes were different things. No. Well, I think so they just like inflate the raisin to make the grape. Yeah, they inflate it with grape juice. Hmm. Do you okay. think I could take a my dried seagull and feed it gum? Hmm. You think I could get a bigger? Uh, seagull out of that i, I think well, it's the I same see. concept because i have this net <laughs> that's made out of old ticket stubs paper what? stubs let's say how much how much and garbage gum. are you leaving in and the theater gum. henry gum if the... if uh james here is able to construct such elaborate things and i, I get underneath the seats and everything so he yeah, sustains himself on the job. gum you, you miss job. you know i found a pair of pants a couple years ago and, oh. and the, i mean well, they seem to be fitting now. They've well. held up, okay. It's a, it's a wonderful shade of. It's uh, really hard to get. Were they the, close? I like. I like. I like uh, it says pink on the backside. That's yeah, nice. wait, yeah. were those? And and there's like that big brown stain right on the back of them, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, those are very stylish. I left those in there two years ago because I didn't want to touch the poopy pants. Oh well, I'm happy you did because I, <laughs> you know, before I was just wearing a diaper. Uh, that now I you found. go diaperless. There's already a brown spot. What are you gonna do? Not utilize that? It's a free ride. I mean, it's. It's very convenient, I've got to say. Yeah. Henry, did you ever wonder where the, the I poopy pants I always wondered. Went? I was like, well, I'm just going to leave these here, and hopefully Steve doesn't yell at me. And he never did. Like, because... And it was like late night. I was closing that night, I remember. And I like had to clean all the theaters before I left. Steve is pretty easy to fool, I've found. <laughs> is he? Please yeah. do tell. He, uh, well, he makes kind of a last round before he mm-hmm. goes home most yeah. nights. and. Sometimes I like to to just creep like right behind him and and I'll touch him and stuff, you know. <laughs> sure. He never knows uh-huh. who's doing it. He yeah. looks around and like, maybe thinks he's a spider or something. Yeah. That's adorable. Touch, touch his ears and stuff. He he hates that. I'm amazed that he hasn't found because I mean even someone who's easy to fool, I mean it, sneaking up behind him and touching them is a pretty surefire way that they're you're they're gonna figure out what's going on at some point yeah well my Eventually. wife taught me how to constrict my body into a very small shape she sounds like a very fascinating so person. she does she sounds lovely what's her name it's hard to pronounce she says uh yeah i realize wow. i don't think Is we ever I, I don't think we confirmed whether or not your children were actually human well they look they've got limbs <laughs> that's a good start Hey, that's a good start. Hey, you know all good baseball players have limbs. Every baseball player has limbs. Yeah, one of them can uh, is that's starting to fact. pick things up. He sounds adorable. He's my prog- I mean, I know that you're not supposed to have favorite sure, kids. Sure, but of but, course you're going to have. You know, he's going places. Oh, that's wonderful. I'm saving up gum to get him into college. What's the exchange rate of gum to chocolate? Yeah, I, was just, <laughs> I don't want to I don't want to burst any bubbles here. But I'm I'm not sure that they'll accept gum as tuition oh don't be such a blowhard of course they can greg you are really taking a liking to james here and you are agreeing with everything he says of course often it seems like you're you're saying that you've had similar experiences in many cases oh all the time did you uh, do you have a gum collection as well uh uh uh, i wouldn't so much say a collection as i would say a uh uh 
a uh, um, a fetish. Yeah, I turned on uh, like the the sound, the chewing of gum, mm. the look of it. Not 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 when it's in its packaged form. No, then it's just like a tease. But when it gets all gooey and everything and stretchy. That's and... why I like to get the stuff that's already been through a, a couple rounds. There you go, man. Of chewing. Mm. Ooh. Because it's so oh, much, and then it's real hard at first, but once you get in there, it gets real soft and flaccid. Yeah, and you can taste it. You know, if I'm lucky, sometimes someone was eating um, something like like a beef jerky or Ooh, like something. Like a hot dog. Yeah, and then they put the gum in right as they're they're not quite finished not chewing. Quite done and, with it, and you get a little morsel in the middle mm. there, and that is just the, the savor it icing baby. on top of my Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Just to paint the picture for everyone listening. Uh... James and Greg were locking eyes real hard right there, and uh, Greg has been rubbing his nipples furiously. I think, I, I think I'm chafing my nipples. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm getting too excited here. Is that blood? Yeah. I go big or go home. I, 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 I go hard. I agree. Do you guys like any of the <laughs> movies they show here? I've seen the same. I only get the one view. That's right. The theater that you're above, uh, Theater 3, formerly Theater B, that's the one that, for whatever reason, Steve decided to just show one film uh, year after year, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, I, you should move uh, above a different theater, and you'll get different movies every couple of weeks. I uh, okay, I'll take your <laughs> word for it. I mean, I've been out of the uh, I've been out of the business. What, what for... is what is that movie called again? Pickle Hero. Okay, yeah, I've definitely seen that. Yeah, I've seen that. Have you mm-hmm. seen that, Greg? Mm-hmm. Yes, of course, I've seen that. It's been playing, <laughs> playing nonstop for... for five years. <laughs> I thought Theater it was. The, I thought it yeah, was. And a... Pickle Boy is Pickle Hero. <laughs> Pickle Hero. I'm sorry. Pickle Boy was Sometimes... the inevitable sequel. I we mean, don't show that here. He's uh, he like uh, you know a man who yeah who who tries to start up a uh, his own business his he's own a, pickling yeah, business yeah he's pickling. Uh, what like turnips at first? Yeah, he's and pickling turnips and that's beets. Not and very peaches. popular, you know. Pickled peaches are kind of a niche market. Yeah, Can't I mean everybody's doing pickled like. peaches. Man, they sound really good. Yeah. Uh, real quick before we before we dive into this, I guess we're going to discuss Pickle Hero, as that's the movie that you have seen uh, yeah. repeatedly. Uh, let's let's not lose the format entirely. Uh, welcome to Break Room of the Cineplex. Oh, hey, my hey. name is Kyle. My name is Greg. Hi, I'm Henry. Hey, I'm James. I live in the ceiling. That's James. Ceiling James. And he lives in the ceiling. James and the giant ceiling. <gasps> Could we make a movie about me? Yes. Do yeah, but we're not going to call it that. Mm-mm. Nope. We're going to we're gonna get you on a big pickled peach, and we're going to call it James and the giant peach. Oh, shit. Oh. <laughs> you could call it James and the, and the, and the wad of insulation. All right, we're scrapping the idea. All right. <laughs> Henry's made the executive decision to scrap the idea. Um, but I guess since we've all seen it, let's. We did have a film prepared for this week, but um, let's. You know, I would love to hear about uh, something else. A different movie. But for I am. Sure. I, you know, I would love to hear your take on Pickle Hero because it's it's become a religious experience for me. I pray to um, I pray to Pickle Hero when he comes on screen. Mm. Huh. And then, um, and and now my whole family does too. Well, you know, so that's, we're that's beautiful. Yeah, we're pickle lights. Pickle lights. <laughs> we have. Uh, I've got a. I've got an altar up there. One of the. Wow. Yeah. Well, I got you a know, pickle off a seagull one time on Saturday when I was up there making my. You caught wow. a seagull what with a, a pickle. Wow. I know, and that's I amazing. and I knew it was a sign. But yeah, I guess if we talk about Pickle Hero, it'll be interesting to hear our take on it, seeing as we see it as like a you know a mid two thousands. It's uh, got great uh, CGI. Well, it's got it's CGI for, for the time. It's okay yeah. for the time. I think it, for the time it was fantastic. But the fact that we'll see it as a film that was just sort of critically panned, came to theaters and left. I mean, except for Theater Three. Um, but we'll be getting your take on it, James, as the source of your religion. So th- that'll be. Yeah, you know the. Uh... The the right before the kind of finale where, uh, you know, the pickle stands up and he's right. screaming mm-hmm. at the sky he's and like, uh, yeah. he yeah he rips his shirt off and 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 uh, and he's like why me why me that's, that's I related my... to that actually yeah because I I was thinking why me. <laughs> You know, while watching the film, yeah, 
No, just as a general a general sense. Oh, I can okay. dig that. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but I guess <laughs> let's not jump too far ahead. But um, so yeah, the the guy who pickles all these items, um, I believe his goal is to try to to pickle a human. He's kind of failed businessman, like a like an entrepreneur who thought he had a great idea, and mm-hmm. then. You know, and he was really invested. He took all of his life savings. He bought this pickling factory. Mm -hmm. You know, he's pickling like blueberries, pickling uh, churros. Mm -hmm. Uh, He's pickling pickled mayonnaise he's trying out with some... He could throw like uh, one hard-boiled egg in a jar full of mayonnaise Mm -hmm. and pickle it. See what happens. Yeah. He's, Honest, he's very, very experimental. And I've tried some of these uh, foods. Have you? Yeah, I've got my own, you know, the gods have their ways. And <laughs> when you're a pickleite, you kind of, you know, it's they part of They try to show the, you the way. Yeah, kinda... so I've been pickling my gum and, um, and what have, some very interesting some results. Seagull meats, maybe? Yeah, we've got pickled seagulls up there. We've got the, I pickle the feathers and turn it into a real... Rich sauce. Oh, yum! No, <laughs> no part goes Seagull. wasted. You know? Yeah, there you go. Exactly. That's good. You know, all the furniture I own is is made of of the bones and. Wow, so that can't be sturdy. Yeah, those sound I, very. I honestly, can't believe you have furniture. Yeah. Well, yeah, it didn't for a long time, but once I had, you know, once I had a wife and kids involved, and mm-hmm. which well, we still have not that. confirmed whether or not got to slow human. down. We don't have to confirm. I, that. I don't think you know. I I think they're. They're very unique, and they're gonna get along just fine in this world, um, as long as we can get some, some clothes that, that fit right. Yeah, mm. that's. Are you just hard. sharing that same pair of pants? Well, yeah. Today's my pants day. That was oh, good. It's I'm a good. Very, very it's glad. a good thing that I fell through the the ceiling tiles on this day. Yeah. Um, yes, we should mention that's how uh, <laughs> that's how James here entered our lives, mm-hmm. and, it, and it smells like you shit your pants when you landed is that oh, just oh no over? no that's just you know that's just the vibe of sure. the pants it's really sure. worked itself uh-huh. into the, the it's, fibers uh, yeah i've washed them once sense. i you washed them once mm-hmm. yeah, yeah that, right when i got them i tried to wash them and uh yeah i didn't have any soap or just said it wasn't worth it i just that, you know i kind of just held them in the rain and I hoped for the best, and it didn't do a whole lot. And so at that well, point, I just thought, you know what? You know. Like I tried, Sounds I gave like it, shower day, I gave right? it one hundred percent. And um, sometimes it doesn't work. Sometimes yeah. washing your shitty pants in the rain doesn't work. What well, are you gonna do? I, I don't understand how you're able to to identify with so many of James's. Uh, hey man, he's speaking the truth. His you know? lifestyle. I he's mean, speaking the truth. Well, right I mean, now. I've been. Uh, you know, not to get weird, but I've been so I feel so close to all of you guys because hey, I just I hear you in the, you know I hear your voices mm. they carry through the ceiling and totally that's about as close as I've gotten to like a person besides Steve, um, <laughs> in a long time. But Steve is like. You know he's kind of an asshole. Steve, Steve is, is an, an asshole. asshole. Oh, so even Steve, even ugh. through the ceiling, that is clear. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Goodness. that's good to know. So I, you know, I prank him when I can. We appreciate it. Yeah, it sounds fun. I'd like to prank him too. I what mean, I mean? could have I could have my wife come down and teach you how to how to sink real low into the floor. <laughs> that that's how you that's how I do it. If you touch his ears and then he turns around, you gotta like crumple down, <laughs> crumple into the ground. But you have to be quiet about it, dude. And, I can crumple, and she's very. Uh, I have never flexible seen crumple. Person. You've never seen me crumple, Greg. You haven't figured out how not to bend at the waist. I crumble like the be- well. I mean, okay, you fold Come in on half. Now. Come on now, let's just. We all have our have our our struggles, all right. And yours is crumpling. <laughs> yours is bending it anywhere but the waist. Why did you just say you could crumple? Because I'm the best at crumpling. Have you seen me crumple? No, no one has. Because you, Greg... I can crumple. <laughs> Watch me crumple right now. Okay, gr- all right. Okay, all right. Let's judge so, so, his. So, so, somebody say that they're Steve. Okay, you don't need to take your pants off for this. Keep <laughs> on. Hold on. No. Okay, I'll, I'll keep my pants on. Okay. There you go. What's well, something Steve would say like when he's just walking around? Why is this floor so dirty? That was really loud. That was, was, yeah, you that made shouted so much rumpled. noise, yeah. and you okay, shouted okay, it. I'll, okay, once more. We don't... Okay. Cue me. Cue uh, me why is this garbage can overflowing? Crumple! He's still shouting crumple, and then saying, uh, ow. 
as you go down. You what? slammed your knees. Here, let's let's see James. James, do you want to? Oh yeah. Here, let me show you uh, this. This is the this is the wife technique. Oh my God! You are flat on the ground. Where did your bones and muscles go? How do you breathe like that? Oh my God! That's insane. Uh, and then you gotta you gotta really breathe in a lot after that because you've um, you can't. There's no room for air once you get down there. Seriously, Christ! Well, that's my problem. Yeah, I you're holding too in too much here. air. You're holding in some amount of air. And Ed, did you eat today? Yeah, yeah, I did. Oh, see, that's the problem. Oh, damn you, it. you just need fiberglass. Yeah, I can just never, I can never gum. do it on the weekends because I've eaten too much dried seagull meat. Gotcha. I need to. Should I be eating dried seagull meat? I mean, yeah, I don't I'll have you guys I'm come, not sure up, that's come up to my place for dinner sometime. And oh, can meet my mm. family. And... That sounds wonderful. That they sound lovely. Greg, how about you Greg, go? Greg, you go and you can just tell us how how it is. Yeah, Sounds that'd good. be great. I'll go. You can tell 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 us how how awesome his wife and kids are. I will. Yeah. And you know what? I bet they I bet they are wonderful. And give us and a I'm number sh- on a scale from one to human on that. One to human. I'm at a like a three. Yeah, use three. Henry for reference at gotcha. about a three. <clears throat> uh, should we get back to pickle yeah, hero? Remember, oh, so right, right, he's right. Uh, remember how he, he tries so hard and he writes those ads. Right, 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 right. He's right. looking for someone to pickle. Mm-hmm. He's like, he's like, he's, he's like, you're gonna stay dads. alive. You know, I've got Maybe. the proper tools. I'm gonna get uh, your your information from mm-hmm. the medical your medical records i've already Get got them here apparatus. i don't i've not met you yet but i have your medical record <laughs> and we're just gonna i've got a real big jar and uh come on down you know I'm, i'll pay you yeah and uh no surprisingly no one wants yeah, nobody gets it's it. really nobody sad and down. there's that moment where he's crying um mm-hmm. you know he's unsure he's, he's, of his future he's crying to the to the to that picture of his father that he keeps Little little, little 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 picture frame of yeah. his father, and he's like, "I'm sorry, Dad. I, I I tried. I tried." But of course, the picture in the frame has been pickled itself, so yeah, you, you so can't really make really out look, his yeah, it's father anymore. But then that stormy night, you hear like a knocking at his door, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and it's well after business hours. Well, and he's like, well, who could this be? Yeah, he gets and upset. He, he gets he upset. He slips on his slippers, trudges to downstairs. Yeah, and his slippers, which have been pickled, yeah, right? Pickled slippers. Of course, and every step is. And then he gets down the steps, opens the door, and there's just this huddled figure out in the rain. Mm-hmm. And then it's just, and, and basically stares at him and is like, I'm here to get pickled. And that's, I think, is like the the moment in his life that he's been waiting for. Yeah, absolutely. That because, scene makes like me that. cry every mm-hmm. single day. And the music starts really? playing. You know, I can really see. Because it reminds of... me of when I met my wife. Right. Oh, yeah. sort of that. I see that. That's beautiful. That's beautiful. Not, that she gargling, sounds beautiful. Not quite speaking. Just the sounds are so, so appealing. So guttural. Yeah. It's like someone chewing gum. You just want to mm-hmm. hear more of it. Sometimes you know I'll lurk. Like like I've only gone out a couple times during the th- the theater. Mm-hmm. Just times with that where people are here. Uh huh. Yeah. And uh, I'll just listen to them chew. That's my favorite sound. Oh, Boy, Greg, your nipples are sounds... bleeding again. Oh God, I'm sorry. They, they. I'm sorry. I got excited. Um, oh, I'm sorry. Uh, so yeah, so this this person appears at at uh, this guy's door. This mad scientist, mm-hmm. really. I mean, it. I don't think anyone takes him seriously. Yeah. Right. You hear mad scientists and you assume they're working on a doomsday device, or working on something that's going to affect a large number of people. But this right. guy really just wants He's to just pickle a everything. He's so he can. passionate about creating a safe food that keeps for a long time you know yeah yeah exactly mm-hmm. and he, he, but he thinks you know if 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 uh, if, if p- pickles are so good then uh we could just live forever if we, if were we pickle ourselves yeah right yeah, yeah, yeah imagine the the preservative qualities of a pickle but in a man a human walking around right yeah and that's when he meets hunter Mm-hmm. The huddled mass. Hunter, the huddled mass. And he invites Hunter in, mm-hmm. and they have a, sh- a short conversation. It's not very long. Yeah. They just exchange a few words. He's like, hello, I'm Hunter. 
I'd like to be pickled, please. Yeah. yeah. And, and, and he, yeah. he doesn't ask a lot of questions. Right. He's the like, scientist is like, finally. He's like, I already have your medical records. <laughs> I've got records. your medical, <laughs> records. <laughs> medical <laughs> records. I've got a, a tank full of pickle juice over here. Yeah. Why don't you just strip down, hop in there, and we can get this we'll thing get rolling. This going. Mm-hmm. And he's like, sure. Let's do it. And yeah. He pops off all his clothes. He's got, he's got, he's ripped. Like, yeah, he is shit. gorgeous. Yeah. He gets My in the goodness. tank anyway. Uh, and then he locks him up, closes the tank, and lets it sit overnight. He's mm-hmm. like, I'm going to just go get some rest. Mm-hmm. Sets his alarm for the next morning, mm-hmm. but yeah, tragically, you know, and this is kind of classic, uh, mm-hmm. classic hero's journey. Uh, he wakes up and he finds he's made this terrible mistake with the solution. Yeah, mm-hmm. Hunter is dead. Hunter's like, dead. Hunter's dead. He's Very well preserved. Shriveled up. Right. He's he all... he got mm-hmm. too pickly. Like, kind of like you know, <laughs> it takes some time to figure out the yeah. right. The ratio. Right, a human is of, the, the first largest thing he's water. trying to pickle. The first couple dried seagulls I made were real weird, but... But you kept going. Yeah. As does our hero. Exactly. Right. It's like a recipe. You just keep messing up yeah. until you get it right. So it's he fine. drains the yeah. tank. He drains it <laughs> and all. And he dumps the body in his backyard. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. And fills up the tank again, trying a different a dif- different mixture. Of a different the, ratio. You know, a different mm-hmm. ratio of chemicals. Mm-hmm. And... He waits for another straggler like to come along to yeah. his mm-hmm. home. But it's just too he's, it's too long. Like B&B. It's too long. So he, he's a patient guy, but I mean he 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 needs to pickle. That's his calling in life. And he, this is something that he needs to do. Mm-hmm. So he goes out in search of a candidate for his pickle pr- mm-hmm. procedure. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And, you know, he's checking, you know, like dive bars, truck stops, you know, the regular place you'd find, you know, just loose humans. Denizens sure. Sure. of society. Right. So he he kind of, he accumulates like three or four of them and brings them back to his house. Just accumulates. Yeah. Just, he, you know, picks one up here, picks one up there, and then eventually rides on back. Yeah. yeah. He's These like, are he's all like, people who have nothing to lose. Like, hey. You know, no relatives. Nobody's going to know that they're missing. Yeah. Yeah. He's like, okay, I have all your medical records here. Um, <laughs> it looks like, you know, most of you are, you know, all right. Fairly healthy. Pretty, yeah. pretty, yeah. pretty yeah. good. Fairly you healthy. know, a yeah. few, few things here and there, but. Could be better. You know, the, the pickle procedure should work just fine. Yeah. Yeah. It. yeah. it should go on, should go off without a hitch. And it, for the most part, does. Right. See, he gets the first person in the tank Mm -hmm. and they're they're good to go the other three people are like well this doesn't seem so bad Mm -hmm. until one of them steps out back to smoke a cigarette and sees the other pickled body Mm -hmm. very well preserved because he didn't bury it he just placed it he placed it and And oh my goodness this man this man uh has fainted and he goes over and he's like wait a second this is a shriveled dead body (laughs) so they all start (laughs) panicking you know pickled and there's that there's that awesome montage with the kind of panic montage where everyone's yeah, starts escaping and they're we're, breaking we're the containers. And, yeah, it's almost like a like a Scooby Doo style chase. Yeah, how did uh-huh. the song go? Out of like pickle in time, gotta get out of here, gonna kill myself. Oops, sorry, yeah, I'm getting out of here, escape into the night. And then they're and they're they're peeking through doors and and they're. They're changing whichever door they're in. They're peeking out of uh, their heads, popping out and everything. Yeah, like the they're Scooby out, Doo. Peeping out the same door, and then they run around. I just like James that, that you said. How does it go? And then sang it perfectly. I mean, well, obviously, you, right. you know the song. Was I've seen it every day for the last five. Five years. Yeah. And, and Greg, you were following along pretty well. Heck yeah, man. If there's one thing I pick up on, it's a melody. That's actually true. Greg is all about the music. So anyway, they finished the Scooby-Doo montage. This bizarre, yeah, slapstick and, uh, chase. And so he's, you know, he's got the recipe down, but, but, uh, you know, all the, all the test subjects have fleed and, and there's one tank left. So what do you, what's, what's a guy got to do? He's going to pickle himself. Yeah. He's tired. He's tired of, of tracking these people down. He's tired of putting his ads in the, in the paper and, and cold calling people and just Mm -hmm. saying, Hey, listen, I got your medical records. And I just wanted to know, you know, they yeah. already hung up at that point. Yeah, and so, so he looks he, at his own yeah, he, medical he looks, chart. He, right. Checks, he, checks his medical chart yeah, for anything that's wrong. Records. He, yeah. He's like, oh, yeah, I know this. He's like, good, not great. Yeah. I remember yeah, that. I here remember there, when that happened to me. You could have been taking better care of yourself, but that's okay. Yeah. And then he steps in and, um, you know, scene fades out. Sun comes up the next day. I gotta Saturday. say, underneath that lab coat, he had a hard body, though. Hard also, yes, body. all of the Built. people in this were very, wow. very fit. Yeah, I don't Yowch. know where they're, who did the casting for this movie, but they must have Ooh. just gone to a yeah, gym and gym, yeah. 
whoever was fittest mm-hmm. you are in my movie yeah. even the yeah. drunks quarter off that. the drunks he was Whoa. picking up at dive bars and truck stops yeah they like you can't, good, you can't right. tell under all the soggy clothes but once you get them mm-hmm. out of there they're, mm. yeah everyone's very mm-hmm. sexually attractive mm-hmm. in this movie not a Whoa. hair on any body yeah yeah man like a tortoise shell well, you wouldn't want to get the hair in the in the mix in the pickling no no, no 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 so maybe they're maybe they edited that you know, I yeah. don't I haven't seen. Maybe there's a shaving scene. Yeah, maybe there's like some that. deleted footage. Uh, uh, <clears throat> so, so the next morning, he he he, he wakes up, and, and uh, we're we're just seeing, we're just we we just see his eyes open up, and then it's from his point of view, mm-hmm. and he and he he opens up the tank, and he walks out, and he's and he's like, oh, well, I don't, I, I don't feel any different, and and he walks over, uh, washes his hands, and then then he looks up in the mirror, he's turned into a giant pickle. Yeah, with hands, with hands, but he's still like very. A human, you know, he's humanoid. He's humanish. He's got all human all of his hands. features are a little more rounded. Yes, exactly. And a little like more green. Grind. Yeah. And he, and he, yeah, he, 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 he thinks to himself. He's like, he's like, oh God, all I wanted to do was create a, a race of pickled humans who will live forever. Now I've done this to myself, but I can't share it with anybody. Why me? And then he tears his shirt off and uh, yeah, he's why me? Him. And he's right, you know, know. That's which is weird that he was one. wearing a shirt because he wasn't in the last. He scene. wasn't in the last one, <laughs> right? He put it on <laughs> to rip it off. I think you know sometimes <laughs> in a, sometimes in movies like you've got to make a point. It's okay to have a little bit of a yeah, continuity, a little, yeah, continuity yeah, errors. Error. Yeah. So like a week goes by. And he's actually doing well. He's he's pickling the right things now. So I think the pickle juice got into his brain, and now he's making now the right. He knows. It's like okay, vegetables, like pickled vegetables. People will actually mm-hmm. eat this. Yeah. You know, I probably shouldn't put uh, like bones or fingernails no. or like yeah. screws. But I'm still gonna pickle blueberries because that was a good idea. Pickled blueberries are actually Made really good, some. and I've got some. That's you've got yes. some pickled blueberries. Wait, really? Have they yeah. fermented? They yeah, a couple months. Nice. Whoa, man. Wow, you've been holding on to these. Oh, yeah. Man, they last we, we can for try, a while. We can try some. Oh, Would okay. you really, like, yeah. share them with oh, us? Yeah. If you've been... Wow. Yeah. For months you've been working on these. Yeah, let me... Uh, hey, man. Maybe maybe, maybe <laughs> I'll let you try bread for this the is neat. You time. made that sound with your mouth as you opened that jar. Yeah, it's, a, it's part of my religion. Sure. <laughs> okay, yeah, here. Here, I'll, here. Try I'll pass one to Greg. Here you go, Greg. Thank you. Thank you. This is... Mm. This is not what I thought it would taste like. I don't. Wow. <clears throat> tastes um. Tastes like oh, like vinegar. Oh, that yeah, that is that is um. I'm gonna be honest, James. I don't like this at all. Mm. I I chewed and swallowed mine real quick because I wanted nope, to. Does it? Oh, that vinegar taste yeah. is really turning oh, turning something else in my mouth. Don't suck. Oh, oh yeah. now I, you're popping a few there's more. There's a little bit mm. of that, James. Blueberry. <laughs> nope, it's gone. Oh, Greg, will you sit back from your mic a little bit? You're you're just making noise into it. I. I feel like we're losing listeners. You had one blueberry. On. How are you not done? Because I'm sucking on it, you see, dummy. See, he really gets it. Oh, you're supposed to suck you're on supposed it? supposed to savor it. Oh, God. Yeah, How it just you... gets saltier and saltier. Like, oh. Greg, are you a secret pickleite? Like, it seems oh. like you are so accustomed to James's customs and, and yeah, man. how to eat pickled blueberries. I think there's a point. Oh, Jesus Christ. Well, I did. I hacked I into a, your phone. Point to this. Just swallow oh. it. That's right. <laughs> it's, it's just going to get saltier. <laughs> <laughs> oh. mm. That wasn't that bad. Did you feel <laughs> yeah. this bright bright lightness in your now, body? N- now that I've swallowed the blueberry that was so horrible, now I feel a lot better. That's oh, the that's best part the of the blueberries when it's not in your mouth when anymore. It's gone. <laughs> so I think the best part of, about Pickle Hero is that he almost he almost gets away with it. Like he's he almost goes to have like a successful life mm-hmm. so close and then he's watching the news and um he just sees this guy is like wreaking havoc downtown throwing throwing rocks into windows he picks up a car and throws it in a tree you know mm-hmm. right he and steals, he's like, steals balloons from was, a baby and he's like i recognize this guy yeah why this is the looks first kinda... guy I pickled. He looks a little. He, he runs out to the backyard and he is gone. He's gone. Not yeah, only I, I that, but that rock and bod. Right. They're, yeah, they're growing. All the other ones are just That's coming out of the woodwork now. We've got a pickle. Uh, we got a pickle problem mm-hmm. on our hands. Right. So what? Bite the pickle. There you. What pickle? <laughs> That's right. 
which he does say but wasn't that wasn't that on the but not to the camera wasn't that on the poster too? that was the tagline too pickle hero we're, we're in a pickle, pickle. yeah, yeah the, we've um, got a pickle on our hands we've got a pickle. but what we got a pickle in our hands. what pickle hero realizes at this point is that inevitably he will become that sort of mindless destructive creature and mm-hmm. so before he before that happens to him he has to destroy his own creations yeah and then destroy himself mm-hmm. but the way he does it is so great it is. It's, Do you want to go yeah, into that, James? Poetic, yeah, because he's, uh, you know, those, uh, God, what are they, like, big sea, like a sea cow? Yeah, or they're, they're, like, like a, they're like, uh, what is it? A, do, dogongs? Dugong. Dugongs. This. Manatee. The dogongs. <laughs> go on, yes. So he just, uh, he he's, he's covers himself in, like, a, all kinds of uh, fish guts and and blood and you know he's saying all that yummy stuff it's televised the news are there what is this man doing he's gone crazy <laughs> and he and he's like i'm sorry he calls out he's you know apologizes to his whole family i'm so sorry to my mom sorry to my dad and my and my uncle actually that scene goes on a little bit too a long. little too yeah, far he goes into second like and third cousins into, yeah a lot a lot a lot a lot <clears> like how many <throat> sorry all of these people whom we have not met in this movie it, that's my only critique that should have really. been cut instead of the scene where he shaves everyone yeah right, we could have had a cool shaving montage and yeah. instead we get stuck with we get here's stuck my with entire family lineage family. Or the scene where he puts his shirt on you know you could have had any of it could have yeah, had it, yeah. It, it, any of that. Could have had a shirt montage. <laughs> Him trying on, trying on like three different shirts. With a new song, a different still, song. Still, oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh. Putting on a shirt. <laughs> Putting on shirts all day. And, uh, now I'm going to rip it up. Ripping off my well, shirt. Oh, God, I'm a pickle. <laughs> <laughs> Put my hands and arms in the sleeve, baby. Now I'm going to open up the door and leave. <laughs> That was really beautiful. That was really good, Henry. Oh, thank so, you. So I think, yeah, and then it's like a whale, right? Some kind of, it's like a do, doggone yeah, whale. Yeah, doggone. Uh, yeah, doggone whale. It's a doggone <laughs> whale. He's, it interrupts, it's the best part of the movie. He's just will not shut up about his family. Yeah. Right. And suddenly this whale just <laughs> yanks him off the dock, off the into dock. the water. Mm-hmm. There's like the flash of cameras. A whole crowd of people is gathered to see this event. Mm-hmm. They're like, ah! <laughs> like so many photographs. And then old timey. And there's like no, there is no uh, subtlety to it. And then it's just roll credits. And the whole time, it's just like, here's like frame by frame, uh, like each picture like the crowd took of him uh-huh. just getting like ripped to pieces because by by feeding himself to a whale by covering himself in fish guts they get a taste for the the pickled people mm-hmm. yeah mm-hmm. and so then he knows that the sea life will take care of the others yeah. at some point yeah it's a wonderful yeah and then roll credits and right. freeze frame the song freeze right. frame plays <laughs> and it's just a, like frame. carnage you know <laughs> Like a still frame, like oh, look at he's he's lost an arm yeah. and now yeah. Oh mm. boy! And uh, the the audience is kind of left with that that comfort. Well, let me that cue comfort uh, of, oh, of no. like knowing that all the rest of the pickles are going to be taken care of from the sea light. Yeah, right. Um, but my gut says that one of them p- potentially uh, procreates before he's eaten, and that would lead to the sequel, which was Pickle so Boy. Pickle, Pickle Boy. Boy. Well, yeah. Yeah, so what? Uh, what else is playing right now? What should I see if I wanted to like if I wanted to change my setup and you know maybe tunnel into a different part of the the ceiling? I don't know. Pick a uh, what's in? Uh, I believe Trans Fivesmer's S is playing. Ooh. Yeah. Uh, what what other food is there in this place? There's a lot. Is there um, like? Uh, there could be more. Popcorn soda. We've got nachos. We got hot dogs. Oh. We've got hot dogs. Did we have corn dogs at one point? Well, we have creamed corn dogs. We don't have. Wait, what, now what is that? Yeah, this, now, is, hold on. this is a whole May new I, thing. Now, now what I think that is just from that, uh-huh. yeah, is just a hot dog mm-hmm. stuck in some cream corn. Yeah. How do you get it? How do they get it to stick? I don't the creamed know. Corn? There, I don't know where there the cream, shouldn't be creamed corn here. We don't know where it comes from. Is he there, finds uh, creamed corn. And there's hot dogs in it. <laughs> I don't. It's a creamed corn dog. 
This sounds really good. <laughs> I mean, I'm sure I'm f- guarantee there's one in the theater right now. You know, I just, just like Completely looking around uneaten. the room at you They're guys. They're always uneaten. <laughs> I feel like I might, I might just going out on a limb here, but I might have kind of lost touch with what it Humanity. means to be a just like a person maybe mm. hey, i don't know if we're it, the best hey man, example stick but. with me and you'll find out what it means to be human you should you should tell your wife about this maybe i should yeah yeah she'll always say what she says what she say <laughs> oh wow that uh, sounded hmm. um it's that sounded harsh very rude comforting well, right. Maybe, maybe that's not. the beauty of you know. She's that. She's give tough she love. She sounds beautiful. Tough love. She's. What if? What if? What if Henry? What if you? When you find some fully intact food or mostly mm-hmm. intact just food, bring it to theater three. Yeah, just tuck it away in theater three, and then. Oh yeah, we could have a spot like a, you know, leave it in a underneath the um... underneath like seat. A12 or something, you know. Uh, A12 is a good spot. A12 is a good seat. I, I just picked that completely randomly, but mm. Greg, you know that A12 is a good oh. seat? Oh, it I know. It smells kind of weird around A12. Mm. Greg? <laughs> I. That's where I found those pants. I... Oh. Wait so... a minute. <laughs> <laughs> Greg? Yes, Kyle? Were those your pants? Did you shit yourself in seat A12 and then take off those pants? You're always taking off your pants when you bend at the bend at the waist. Well, I'll tell you, they're uh, not pink anymore. (laughs) They're so soft, guys. They are very soft. Do you want to feel my pants? I am not going to touch those pants. They look kind of moist. I would have been more interested in touching those pants before I knew that they were Greg's. The fact that they were covered in in feces was less of a deterrent than the fact that they used to be on Greg. Okay. Here's the deal. Sometimes the stall is occupied. All right? Right. Or sometimes there's no toilet paper in. Sometimes in... there's no toilet paper. Steve. He's not here. I. Thank God. Yeah, that's good. I'm going to shave so his head. You just, your rant just stopped I'm mid. Gonna sh- I am <laughs> so, going to shave so Steve's head. <laughs> so you Would you guys like that? So you went sometimes into the theater the where a movie was playing. To a tw- yes. To A-12. shit your pants. Well, and I taking mean, the pants off. Don't say there, well. I like, leave okay. them there. What I was planning to do you had a plan. was wait for the stall to be unoccupied. But what ended up happening was uh, at the sight of that huddled mass man taking off his. Uh, ooh, I lost most <laughs> control of my body i do the same thing when i when that scene happens let's say that guy was the one who was chewing gum as well right mm-hmm. yeah he opened oh my the, God. the rainy door swung open he's just sitting there yeah that scene just makes me i'm lose. gonna stop doing it right now Greg, your no, nipples your nipples oh god damn it <laughs> just anything i was holding inside my intestines is just drops right let me tell you floodgates to manual am i right I think you might have a, more problems than just the shit pants. Yeah, I I think so. I think so. I don't know. I don't know what you guys are talking about. I, I think you seem uh, well. I yeah, Greg and James very Continue. relatable. You seem Thank like you so much kindred oh my souls. God. I I do like to think of myself as cultured. Greg, you live like a person who lives in the ceiling of a theater. I don't know what that means, but now that I've met James, I will say thank you. I've gotta say, like it's so free. To be up there. That sounds wonderful. To live in one spot. I have not paid a single gum for anything oh. since I moved up there. <laughs> anyway, you're, you're telling me that gum is not a currency So you're going to have a rude awakening, awakening when you eventually do try to pay for something. What, we, what do we use now? Well, mostly money. The, probably Sometimes the same chocolate. thing that Sometimes we Sometimes yeah. chocolate, mostly money. <laughs> I should get out more. I don't think there's I mean, much Every weekend. Yeah. Yeah. There is a new That's theater that good, opened right? up over across I town. saw that. Yeah. Oh, you can see that from the roof? That's I can true. see it's that not... from the roof. Yeah, it's yeah. across it's town. Like six but I watched him, I watched him uh, you know, work on it. There's a lot of seagulls over there. A lot of oh, yeah. seagulls. Wow. I might it really have makes to, you wonder. Uh, I might have to get a, get a bigger net. Um, are you going to go over there about... and try to... Yeah, yeah I might expand my hunting territories and include their rooftop. Because those seagulls look pretty fresh. Well, as opposed to the seagulls that hang around uh, our roof, they're kind of they're kind of worn out. Mm-hmm. You know, Gaunt. 
Yeah, there's not a lot of meat. Because all I put out there is uh, the other bits of seagull that I had from the week previous. Because I, I don't have bait. So we just... Maybe I'm missing something Can here. Can goals. <laughs> uh, you're, you're coming up with some really yeah. good ones today, Hank. You are yeah, fire. I'm, I'm feeling good today. You are on we were setting fire. them up, and you are knocking them out of the oh, park. Oh, boy. Let me tell you. Canigals. Canigals. <clears throat> well, uh, you want to talk about favorite parts of Pickle Hero? Oh, man, yeah. We've oh, completely boy. lost the format at this point. but <laughs> That's uh, all right. Hey, it's a special day. It is. We have a special yeah. friend here. I'm so happy to have... Uh, human interaction again. It's certainly Amen. been interesting since you dropped into it, our lives. It, it actually answers a lot of questions <laughs> I had about literally fell through our ceilings and things. Do you like hear that. me up there? Yeah. Tell me if I'm being too loud. Well, some, sometimes in theater three, I think you can hear you crying. <clears throat> Whenever that, uh, yeah. You might hear my me and my wife getting our, our <laughs> arguments. Oh, no. oh, is that what that is? Yeah, if you hear. I, I always thought it was just the building kind of like. <laughs> Yeah, I, I always thought that was just the walls. Yeah. <laughs> the babies are pretty quiet. Greg, you are in Theater 3 a lot watching that movie. You must sit in the back now, right? Because I don't see you when I look through my hole. Yeah, I don't sit in A12 anymore. Mm. It just I don't think anyone time. really sits in A12 anymore. That's yeah. the best seat. That's yeah, a seat that Henry will hide food under because no one will find it. put a cream corn dog down there for you. Thank Bing you. Bong. I'm looking forward to trying that thing. It sounds amazing. <laughs> Uh, yeah. yeah, let's get into uh, favorite parts of, of Pickle Hero. Okay. Uh, favorite characters or lines or favorite favorite anything? <laughs> Scenes, sequences, songs? Uh, I personally enjoyed um, that little bit where he was he was like hunched over, uh, the, the scientist, he was hunched over his workbench and he's trying to come up with the right um, formula for it all. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and he's got that song. James, how'd it go? <laughs> oh, the... Uh... The formula song. That's right. He's like, uh, doing all of the things, and I got to type this formula in, and I just kind of forgot. I'm just going to make it up, and then he does it, and it's like, wow, yeah, I've made I love it. the oh. best choice. Oh, we made a formula. Hey, yeah. Now I've made a formula. Yeah. It turns out to be wrong though yeah because he, I mean, I mean, he says in the song he's he making so it up excited. As he, he was so excited I yeah like he's that. like you know he's trying to type it in and he's like not good at math so. he's not good at math yeah and there's no music behind these songs it's just him singing alone yeah. in his lab which is snapping. fun yeah, yeah just right. snapping. Yeah, probably oh. ran out of budget for uh for backing tracks right, all the song. that's that's fair the cgi was great the CGI right. yeah, the CGI so they spent good. all the money the time. yeah <laughs> on that. i think it holds up say <laughs> so they licensed that one song for the credits and that yeah probably honestly took all the, the favorite part. part for me is like uh when he tosses the first body out in his yard mm-hmm. because mm. of the uh it's a good looking body there's like no ceremony to it <laughs> very cut. and and then there's you know they cut they cut back to they cut back to his face and he kind of like uh I don't even think they. I think they should have cut this out, but I'm glad they didn't, because he gives this slight like, huh? This is like a shrug, like he oh, drops well. it, and he's just like, "Whoops, yeah, oh, well. maybe I, next time." I always took that as like he tried like forgiving he, himself. It's like he's tried so long to get someone. He finally gets someone, and he immediately kills them. I think he's like trying to convince himself it's no big deal and he had already seen the medical records he knew what was wrong he knew what was going on yeah Yeah. it was gonna happen Mm -hmm. it's more data for going forward but i think he's kind of trying to shrug off yeah the fact not the fact that he's killed a person he really doesn't seem affected by that but when making an omelet when make an omelet you gotta crack a few eggs right right when 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 pickling a a person person you gotta kill or kill a few people yeah. a few honks <laughs> several you, really a few no honks. i've been working on yeah you, know, you might have yeah. my own pickle chamber Let's up try there it. give it a try i've been i've been watching this movie for a long time i know the yeah. facts behind the science here i mean how much can you really know though when like he sings a song about making a formula and he, and he doesn't include any of the information he didn't, he didn't even in really finish the song he just kind of said i'm gonna make it up as i go along and then he and then, then he, he said did that. Yeah, i made a form that's like, improv baby yeah, that is an improv are you taking that as kind of the the direction that you should go is just kind of make it up yeah that's why um when i can if i get into a restroom down in the lower but low, lower floor mm-hmm. um that's they keep a lot of chemicals in that in that cabinet there the one that says do not open and i'll drink some 
to see if it's okay. And well, then I put the rest in my big pickle vat that I've got upstairs. And so you're just wait. soaking yourself in chemicals. Well, we're getting ready. Just yeah. random chemicals? You got to smell them first, and if it smells delicious. Should we... To try to get us back to... to my the... favorite part oh, okay, sure. was the fact that they never stated the main character's name at all. Yep. They just called him Pickle Hero. Mm -hmm. Oh, thank goodness. I thought I'd just forgotten. I was dancing around that this entire time. No, the very, like, the first, like, three quarters of the movie, he just, he doesn't have a name. Mm -hmm. He just, t he tells the other people their names and their medical information. Yes. But right. th there's no, there's no discerning information about Pickle That's Hero. That's actually, there's a, there's, like, a reason that the storytellers do that is oh. so that you can step into... The role oh. and it becomes more relatable. So right. you're like, yeah, oh, slate. right. Like, anyone can be pickle anyone hero. Could be anyone pickle can hero. be a pickled mm. person. I get that. It seems to fit right into your religion too, because it does. Yeah, the pickleites. I mean, do you guys want to? I mean, I, uh, that's I too don't, soon. No. Hey, I just I got met stuff you guys. to do tonight. Yeah, you know? I'm really, I'm really. I gotta see some other. We've some got other stuff. Uh, free juice. I still got yeah, stuff well, to do. I feel like I might take a rain. You just check, talked about though, sipping on, chemicals to make though, sure they're okay. I'm I not might, gonna, I might pick you up. I don't, don't believe. Uh, let's go into ratings. Mm. Yeah. Well. Uh, well. I. Well. What, James? You as the expert, what would you rate this I mean, on a scale? We do a scale of, of one to ten. One to ten. Oh uh, well. I mean, I. would I'd have to see another movie almost to to. So you to have nothing to compare to, yeah. So a ten, it's a ten, ten out wow. of ten. ten. There you it's go. The, it's the most moving, transformative film I have ever seen in my life. That's beautiful. I am going to pickle myself tonight. Oh, oh, oh you're gonna okay. give it a go. I'm a go just to... gonna go for it. I think you know, meeting you guys. This is this is a sign. Nice, go for There's, it, man. There is no other reason why we would ta be talking about. My favorite movie on this day. Exactly. It's time. It's destiny. Besides the fact we just decided since that's a movie you've seen and we all happen to have seen it at some point in the past. There wasn't... Yeah, yeah. you could have... No, destiny. 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 You, know, we'll you could have destiny. blown me off. I, I think this means <laughs> it is time to take the next step in human evolution. To take the plunge, per se. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> right into... Your submerge yourself in some pickle of, brine. Mm -hmm. Brine. It's not the right it's color. It's the brine. We'll get there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'll give it a five out of ten. I thought it's 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 a it's a fine movie. Yeah, I think it has yeah. its issues, yeah. but uh, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna just try really uh, hard yeah. to uh, not be offended by that. But I'll, oh, I respect it. Oh, James. Oh, you've probably seen sure. other movies. Oh, I, I yeah. have seen many, many movies. You yeah, know, I yeah. saw some movies before I saw Pickle Hero, but um, have they all been I, faded I, I from memory? I don't memory? remember anything else at this point. <laughs> mm. It's just gone. Yes, yeah. that's, that's all right. That's all, all right. I have is pickles now. All you have are pickles. Greg and Henry, what are what are your ratings? I would also probably give this a four. You said also, but then you give it. You, you do. I'll this give it an eight. Sorry. There we go. Oh boy. Yeah. Oh, don't. Oh, you made. Don't. You made James happy. Well, you know what else are ratings for, right? Yeah. Yeah, and when I when mean, when Henry says eight out of ten, he really means it. So you can you can I trust. Really him. appreciate that. Thank he has you. strong opinions. Stick to my you, guns on that one. Absolutely. Uh -huh. All the horses in that race. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But I don't have any in this one. None of them. All right. <clears throat> well. well. James, I want to say thank you for for uh, unexpectedly joining. Yeah, tumbling us. Yeah. through the ceiling. What a wonderful, tw what a wonderful fortuitous uh, situation. And we'll just we'll just tell yeah. Steve that the coffee machine blew up and it wasn't have anything. Yeah, okay. anybody it's not. Yeah, it's clearly of been crushed honestly. by something. Yeah. But uh, I really am. If I if this pickling goes well, I'm gonna shave his head. Nice. nice. <laughs> and when he turns around, like, what is that feeling? I'll just crumple into the floor. I'll be gone. That is we'll, it. Crumple for us gonna... again, real well, quick. Crumple for us. Jesus. Wow. Wow. Oh, wow. God. wow. That is something else. Yes. Well, when we see his head shaved, we'll, we'll know. We'll know what's we'll up. We'll know that you successfully pickled yourself. Hopefully, he doesn't listen to this podcast. Yeah, I maybe, he like, uh, bring. Um... We would love to meet your wife. Right. What was your name? Uh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. She sounds lovely. She's beautiful full uh, head of hair oh that sounds perfect that's good that's, that's my kind of woman right there mm -hmm. that's my type well it's good to have confirmation that the person who's in the ceiling was not a deer uh you had those antlers for 
Oh yeah, briefly. there was a deer. There was a deer. Did Wait you a second, what? Kill and skin this deer? Or? Yeah, that's like the first thing I did when I got up there. It, say it was only a couple weeks back that uh, we encountered you in that state. So you you were in that deer. I still wear it. Okay, gotcha. It's my outfit. Wow. That's wow. what I wear when I you know you're when not, you're not, not wearing the, the pants. pants. Yeah. You hacked my phone. Because it's not. It's only my pants. To, yeah, I said that. I hacked your phone. My God! But uh, I hope there's no hard feelings, and um, you can have these pants back if you'd like. I'll I'll give them right now. Uh, you know, I, I would actually really like those pants. Right, I, okay. I did pay a lot of money for those Here. pants. Why don't we just think it do a swap? All right, <laughs> all right. I'll just take these. All right. Oh, okay. All that's right, really spreading the. Well, that's really the, not how you should smelling. be taking off pants. These are but... damp. Uh-huh. I'm gonna put the I'm gonna put those over here for now. I'm just gonna. Nope, Greg is pantsless. Right. But so I'm just gonna okay. uh, I'm just gonna there crawl back go. up here nope. and. Uh, oh, just I'll, right up we'll, to the ceiling. Here. All right, oh. yeah, not even wait for there was in. a hole there. Uh, but, but, I'll just see you guys. Uh, I'll see, well, I'll see ya. Okay, gotcha. <laughs> Through the I'm hole, I said. All right. Oh, all right. All right. Yeah. Thanks, James. Bye. Huh. What a nice man. That was really weird. Yeah, you guys. can we not ever do that again? I, how 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 judgmental of you people. Greg, don't please don't defend him. That, that was that was that was a wonderfully he was, his wife sounded lovely. I hope his pickling goes well. I I you guess all that I, I guess I wish him well, but I got my pants back. That's all I can. I mean a big supporter of him uh fucking with Steve. Yeah. Me Yo too. Bien, me bro. too. Uh, you know, ultimately he's doing good. Yeah. Yeah. Well. All right. There we go. Cool. I guess if you want to contact us, you can reach out at cineplexpodcast at gmail dot com. Uh, you can ask us questions about life here in Timberdale. You can. Man, he's still walking around on the ceiling up there. I can hear him crawling around. Uh, I think him and his wife are having an argument. <laughs> you can ask. Uh... Oh boy. Ah uh, yeah. Oh. Uh, you, you you can ask us a question. You can ask us a, a question that you'd like us to pass along to James, and we yeah. can try to get that to him. Should just shout it and just throw a bottle up in the ceiling. Yeah, yeah just stick a stick a note in a in a little. little yeah, you know, we got we got a twelve as a as a portal now. So yeah, I guess A12. that'll be a, del- a delivery service. Uh, uh, you can also reach out to us on Twitter at Cineplex Podcast. Send us a movie title uh, you'd like us to to yeah, check we, out or whatever. But we, um, we will watch it. Anything. Yes, mm-hmm. we have very low standards. They are very for, yeah. for pretty much anything. Exactly. Yeah, and Especially I guess especially movies. I guess the movie we intended to talk about this week, we can just talk about next week. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. Cool. Uh, all right. Thank you for bearing with us through that, and uh, thanks for listening. Yeah. I'll, I'll, yeah. Hi, I'm Henry. I'm Greg. And I'm all right, Kyle. bye guys. <laughs>